O gates, lift high your hearts, grow higher, ancient doors, let him enter the King of Glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we enter into this sacred celebration, let's acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the content of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let's pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant we pray that those who confess his incarnation with humble favor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned her son Samuel, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, a measure of flour and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And Hannah said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord for for this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore, I have lent this child to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. Hannah left Samuel there for the Lord. The word of the Lord. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. My heart rejoices. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out, of bre out for bread, but those who were hungry are fat with spoil. The baron has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord rejoices in the Lord, my say. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down the Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, King of all nations, source of your church's unity and faith, save all people, your own creation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. You are reading from the 
Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary set out to visit Elizabeth. After hearing her greeting, Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now, now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God's mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thorns and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. The Lord has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his, and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months, then returned to her home. the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we are reminded of the Lord's providence and help for us, his strength and his love for each one of us. The Lord has not forgotten his people. And then the same then echoed as we heard the great song of rejoicing that Mary sang in our gospel passage today, known as Magnificate. All biblical scholars are one in saying that Magnificate has four parts, namely gratitude to God, praise for God for his power, holiness, and mercy, how God deals with the proud and the humble, and the fourth, the praise of God's faithfulness to his promises. The Blessed Mother begins by expressing her boundless gratitude to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The first word of this song in Latin is magnificate, magnifies. My soul magnifies the Lord. She's saying that her soul adores, praises, and honors the Lord, for he indeed is infinitely great. How often do we praise and thank God in our prayers? Praise and adoration of God are the most important parts of the prayer. We pray and celebrate the Eucharist. First and foremost, to adore and to praise God. This grateful acknowledgement always leads to joy. She says, my spirit rejoices my God and my Savior. Secondly, Mary extols God for his power, his holiness, and his mercy. He is power. God is power because he can do whatever he wills. This should give us secure confidence and peace. The important thing is to always remain with God, hold on to him, and never lose sight of him. God is holiness because he manifests and manif maintains an infinite distance from everything that is imperfection and adheres to infinite good. God is mercy for his love for sinners is boundless and his kindness towards the weak and fallen is undying. Let us remember that Though we have sinned deeply and often, God still loves us. His love is greater than all our sins. Thirdly, Mary compares the humble and the proud. 
God dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart, has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, the rich has sent away empty, and on, on the other hand, God has lifted up the lowly, the hungry, he has filled with good things. Definitely, this is highly dangerous, revolutionary statement with strong political overthrows. But in it, in fact, it is Jesus speaking through his mother Mary. Made through Mary's lips, Jesus is speaking to each one of us. This is precisely the theme of the Gospels. God exalts the humble and he humbles the proud. And finally, Mary sings the faithfulness of God to his promises. She attests that God keeps his promises even in the face of his people's stubborn and repeated infidelities. God does not fail us even when we fail God. This should give us encouragement and assurance for God. God will not abandon us. Our God is a faithful God. So my dear brothers and sisters, may we also sing Mary's song to God now and always. Amen. Let's stand and offer our prayers. Lord, we pray for the Holy Catholic Church. We pray for Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and entire faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for our country and for all nations that we may be guided in the way of justice and peace, that we should we would honor one another and serve for common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray during our Advent celebration or preparation that it would be a time of reflection on the coming of Christ filled with prayer, repentance, love of God, and love of neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the sick and suffering, the homeless, the unemployed, those suffering from addictions, and anyone in any kind of distress, we pray to the Lord. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions of Debe McFadden, intentions of Kay Higgins, and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Let us also offer our own personal intentions of this Holy Mass. Almighty and gracious God, you have visited your people and led them out of darkness into your marvelous light. As we prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of our Savior, may our lives be transformed by the mystery of incarnate love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the spirit of to the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this vine to offer. Through to the vine, work of human hands, 
it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with the offer our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly a right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold to him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise, and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we apply. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of God. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of 
charity together with the friendship of Pope Ronaldo Peter of Bishop Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the brethren. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper, the Lamb.
my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Let's pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the reward, rewards of the blessed. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection, wicked.